So finding a comfortable seat and just checking for any tightness or tension anywhere. It's been a busy time. And I'm sure we've all been busy today, so if you need to stretch anything or roll those shoulders a little bit and then let them drop down. <clears throat> Maybe drop the head to side to side and forward and back just to loosen up that neck. <clears throat> it's important to make sure the body is comfortable before you want to spend any time sitting quietly because if the body's not comfortable, it's not going to happen. All right, so as we always do, let's begin with our three slow, steady inhalations and exhalations. So just blow, blow the stale air out and then breathing in through the nose if you can, filling up, up, up and holding and as you release, ah yes, doesn't that feel good? Ah, full release, pushing that belly in and then again, breathing in, belly, ribs, collarbone and hold and again release feel that as that breath flows out the whole body is like putty just let it go and the last one again filling up like an empty vessel until you are completely full feeling like there is not another bit of breath you can get in there and on this release, say thank you. Thank you for these few minutes that I'm offering to myself to just let go. To let go of the past, which is over. Not to worry about the future. And just be present in the here and now. So, as we sit... I was uh, thinking about this earlier on the way here, about how often we feel a lot of stress and anxiety because we say yes when we really mean no, or would like to say no, but feel for some reason or another that we can't. So that conflict in our mind between what we're saying and what we're really thinking are not in alignment. And we can never have peace of mind if the mind and what we say and what we do are not in full alignment. Those three things have to go together. First comes the thought, second comes the word, and third comes the action. So if any one of those things is not in alignment, we experience anxiety. So this is a good thing to know because as we sit in the stillness, we can consider if today or if not today maybe sometime recently or if not even recently maybe sometime in the far distant past we said yes when we really wanted to say no if we can unearth this incompatible experience in our mind with our actions or our speech we're well on the way to discovering a peaceful alternative. So let's just uh, allow ourselves to drift into that deeper part of our consciousness, below the everyday thoughts, to that place of deep memory, those, that place where we hold on 
to things without even being aware that they are there. That's where we can uncover this disparity between the saying yes but the meaning no. So let's spend a few minutes now, see if you can discover any situation like that. And just notice it. You don't have to do anything about it, but become aware of it and see what happens in that awareness. Okay, so, mm. gently returning to this vehicle, our body, in this seat, and as we take this slow, deep breath in, pulling in the energy that exists all around us and releasing any last bits of residual tension. Acknowledging that you've given yourself these couple of minutes to discover or uncover parts of your mind that you might not even have been aware of. So it's all, as the Course would say, all things are lessons God would have me learn. So all things, whether they're positive, what we would judge as positive or negative, all things can teach us something that can help us grow in peace and in calm and joy. So let's do one more slow deep breath in. And as we release that breath, we can let our eyes come open, and we're here.